Hey, what's up everybody? Good day to everyone. I'm Monsieur Valois and today I'm going to give you, the student, the tools for how you can best succeed at the IB, Language Ab Initio Internal Assessment. So yes, we're talking about the individual oral. We're going to run through some strategies and the sample visual stimulus and show you how you can best succeed this way. Also, if you want a deeper review of the expectations and criteria for evaluation, please click on the card above and check out the IB Language Ab Initio Guide breakdown. All right, let's jump right into it. This year is 2021, and so the IB has made certain accommodations to the internal assessment, so you, the student, will be presented with the choice of five different visual stimuli and not just two. So make the choice of which one of these five stimuli you feel you will be most successful in. Once you've chosen, you'll have 15 minutes to prepare your notes for the oral, which consists of part one, your time to shine. You only have one to two minutes here to give a description and interpretation of the visual stimulus that you selected. Part two, the follow-up discussion. Time for a three to four minute chit chat with your teacher who will ask you more about the stimulus and the course theme. Part three, the general discussion. The teacher will lead a general conversation on at least one other course theme from the course's five themes. This will also last three to four minutes. Okay, so before checking out the sample visual stimulus, let's check out some strategies for you to best prepare for part one, the presentation. For the presentation, you're going to be evaluated according to these three criteria. Language, you've got varied vocabulary, good sentence structure, and you're worked, you've worked on your pronunciation and intonation. B1, the message, this is about your ability to describe and interpret the stimulus and you make references to the target culture and the course theme. And lastly, C, the interactive skills. You're consistently speaking in the target language, demonstrate comprehension, and your speaking is sustained throughout. Okay, so strategies. First and foremost, make sure you are in your best mental and relaxed state the day of the recording. Sleep well, hydrate, exercise, meditate, eat well, whatever it takes to make you feel like you're at your best. All right, now let's get into the strategies for interpreting the visual stimulus. All right, so to be able to describe and interpret what you see on the visual stimulus, you should by this point know how to use colors in your target language, how to be able to express sizes, um, what the weather's like in the photo. You could, you should, Check out a bunch of different adjectives in your target languages. I would say find a list of the 100 most common adjectives so that you can be able to describe things like, oh, this is big, this is small, this is far, this is near, happy, sad, and so forth. Also, make sure you know your place prepositions. These will help you enhance your description. So for example, we could be saying something is on or above, below a bench. Uh, there is something behind the car. Um, in front of a tree, next to a building, to the left of, to the right of. For interpretations, make sure you know how to conjugate verbs that are used to be able to describe and interpret. So we're looking at examples that you could say, in this image, there is, or this person appears to be. It seems to me that what I can see here, what we can see, um, these will give you the tools you need to describe and interpret. Also for the presentation perspective, what do you see in, in the foreground? What do you see in the middle ground? What do you see in the background? So in the foreground we can see, in the middle ground there appears to be, I notice in the background there are, and so forth. Now let's make links with the target culture. Hopefully this won't be too difficult, but even if you think you don't have the ideal stimulus, try your best to make a link between anything you see in the image and what you know about the culture you've studied. So my strategy is think of cultural activities and experiences from your target culture and don't think that your ideas aren't good enough. Make an effort to make a connection or you won't get the best score. All right, so let's say that you've chosen your stimulus now and that you have 15 minutes to prepare. If you are confident in your ability to describe the visual stimulus, don't use up your notes putting in too many details because you can only have a maximum of 10 bullet points. Use these to string together certain sentences you want to get across throughout the presentation, the ones you don't want to forget as you're planning. And use the remaining time to check the grammar and structure, practice pronouncing them out loud, 
That way you'll get your speaking warmed up. As a reminder, some of these sentences should be focused on connections with the course theme and the target culture. All right, everyone, we've made it this far. Let's check out our sample visual stimulus. I'm gonna use an example of a stimulus that I would use in my IB French Ave Initio course, um, but regardless of the language of study, the strategies I've shared are universal. So let's try this out. All right, so if you wanna actually simulate the exam right now, it'd be the time to press pause. Make sure you have some paper so that you can take down notes for the next 15 minutes. So set a timer and we'll see you back here in a quarter hour. All right, so now that you actually have your notes prepared to do the presentation, let's simulate that. You can press pause, set a stopwatch for the one to two minute time frame, and we'll see you here real soon. Good luck. Okay, now it's close to impossible for me to provide you feedback through a YouTube video that was recorded in February, 2021, but the least I can do is to put some of these strategies I discussed before into practice. I'm gonna start a stopwatch right now. In the image I have chosen, there appears to be a parade on a wide avenue in France. Uh, I think it's the Champs-Élysées because the Arc de Triomphe is in the background and there are a number of French flags, which makes me think that yes, this must be in France. And of course the French flags are blue, white, and red. Um, they seem to be long hanging on the trees, which are on the left of the main avenue and on the right of the main avenue. And in the middle of the street, we can find a number of people, it looks like it's in a parade, uh, that are dressed in different military outfits. Some are blue and some are beige and some are white. And on either side of the street, you can see policemen, I believe, in blue uniforms with ties. Uh, also, the weather looks pretty nice, although it doesn't look particularly sunny. The trees are very green, which leads me to believe it could be the summertime. And in the background, we can see buildings uh, from Paris, skyscrapers, along with the Arc de Triomphe and a very big flag. Uh, in the middle ground, we can see a number of soldiers and also behind some, some tanks and some military uh, vehicles. And in the foreground, we see some other um, soldiers or Marines in blue with different colored flags. Some are red. Um, to link it to the target culture, I'm confident that this parade is taking place in France because of the flags, and I think it's Bastille Day because the military is out and the weather being nice means it could be the 14th of July. And it's showing us an experience taking place that's important for the French population. And it makes me think of many times that I've celebrated the National Days of Canada and Mexico. And I'm done. How did I do? I know I was stumbling a little bit. But there we go. I was able to talk for the whole two minutes. I gave many descriptions. I used verbs that helped me describe what I see. I used adjectives in there. I talked about foreground, middle ground, background. So hopefully you were able to consider some of the points that I brought up here when you were practicing your presentation. Let's get into part two, the follow-up discussion. Now comes the time for a little Q&A between you and myself, the teacher. So in this part, I'll be asking you a series of questions based off of what you presented from the visual stimulus, questions in relation to the course theme, experiences, and this should last for about three to four minutes with you doing most of the talking. So here you're gonna be evaluated again on A, language, but you'll also be evaluated on B2, the message. And that's that your, your responses are relevant, they're broad in scope and depth, you can be pretty general here, and you engage me, the teacher. You'll also be evaluated on C, interactive skills. So I can make questions specifically about the visual stimulus, such as you mentioned that there were soldiers in the street, what do you see behind them? Or what color are the uniforms of the people on the left? You mentioned that you think this is Bastille Day. Well, what makes you feel confident about that? Have you ever participated in a parade? Can you tell me more about what the experience was like? And as for questions on the course themes, these are usually broad and pretty open too, so that you can connect your personal life to the course theme. Also on page 18 of the Ab Initio guide, which you can find linked in the comment section below, you can find some examples of possible topics and questions that can help you know what you may expect from your teacher in part two, such as, 
In keeping with the course theme experiences, how are customs and traditions similar or different between French speaking culture and your own personal culture? That's a huge question and hopefully you have lots to say about that. Lastly, don't forget to ask your teacher once or twice for their thoughts or opinions on any of the questions they asked you. Remember, this is supposed to be a conversation, so quit being a stale baguette and engage me too. Okay, so now we're finally at part three, the general discussion. At this point, we're no longer discussing the visual stimulus. I could ask you a variety of questions linked to any of the five course themes. Here again, you'll be evaluated on A, language, B2, message, and C, interactive skills. So for instance, I could ask, we're going to be discussing the course theme, sharing the planet. Student, what can you do today to make our world a better place? Or let's talk about human ingenuity. How do you use media in your daily life? So although I'm not limited to just asking you those questions found on page 18, practicing them will help you work those brain muscles and be better placed to succeed. Success is what we want. A final recommendation for part three, in the weeks leading up to the internal assessment date, make sure that you have a list of 20 to 30 vocabulary words for each of the course themes. This will help you become more versatile and you'll score better, you'll improve your grade. All right, everyone, I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give me some blue, give me one of those thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, wishing everybody the very best of luck in your upcoming internal assessments. You know you got this.